Hi, this video is a presentation of uh, refraction of white light uh, when it passes through a prism. Let's take my favorite gun and shoot a beam of uh, white light, which is a wave. It strikes the glass, travels through air, and then after it strikes the glass, it goes through the glass and comes out from the other side of the glass, and we are catching all those colors on a screen. Let's take a walk around it. So this gives you an idea of uh, how refraction is taking place. So the first, the wave of light here strikes the glass and splits immediately into its seven constituent colors and reaches the other side of the glass. Here the prism is a triangular cross-section. Once it touches the other side of the glass, each of the wavelengths of light bends again and bends downwards in this case and strikes the white screen that we have placed there. The next point is that we have to see the coplanarity of the refraction. That means that if the white beam of light is coming in in the xy plane, the refracted wavelengths will also lie in the same plane. On the screen you also see a mention of the Vibgyor, the code for the seven colors of light. So let's take a walk around the prism as refraction is taking place. White light has hit the glass. The refraction has started inside the glass and then uh, it has started bending after coming out of the glass. And as we turn around, we can see that they're all in the same plane. So the white light was in the XY plane and the refracted beams are also in the same plane. When we place a screen with a single beam of light, in a single plane you will get just dots, you will get seven dots. If you have a white beam of light you might get lines on that white screen. It all depends on what we input. So the Vib Gyor um, is displayed here and you can see the all the colors from violet, uh, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Uh, so this is how the uh, refraction takes place. Uh, in terms of wavelength you can see that red is the longest one and the violet right below has got the shortest uh, wavelength. In terms of uh, bending, uh, this is a very important part of refraction. The incoming white light uh, when it's split into its constituent colors they all bend down as you can see uh, and then when they exited the glass each of these wavelengths have bent again downwards. So there are two bendings that are taking place. As you can see the violet has bent the maximum and the red has bent the minimum. So when we study this bending it leads to um, the angle of deviation uh, which is an important part of the physics course. So the first thing to do is to drop a normal always when the light strikes uh, any glass or any medium. So when you drop a normal, which is shown here in some kind of an orange color, first normal. You can see that the white light has split into its colors. I haven't shown all the colors. There are just three here shown to avoid the overcrowding. So all of them have bent towards the normal when they are inside the glass. So they bent towards the normal. And when they exit the glass, as you can see, there are three normals drawn here for each of those three colors. Each of the rays have bent away from the normal. That's why you see uh, double bending. First bending downwards when it has hit the glass and going inside the glass. A second bending downwards when it has come out of the glass into air. The definition of the medium is very important here. So the, in this case, the light is coming from the air into the glass and back into the air. So this leads to discussion of the refractive index of the glass itself. So if we have to look at the angle of deviation, it just says how much bending has occurred. It's very simple. So you can see here as a sample case for violet, uh, the white light came in at a particular angle. It bent towards a normal. Uh, of course, the violet light uh, bent down the maximum. When it exited the glass, it again bent down the maximum. So if you extend that violet line back up and uh, extend the incoming white ray, you get the total angle of deviation which is shown with the red arrow. 
and that is the angle of deviation. It's uh, as simple as that. So the angle of deviation varies for red. Uh, it's different for each of the colors. And in a separate course, we will uh, be explaining the equations for the angle of deviation. I hope this course was uh, useful to you. Uh, have a great day.